assalamu alaikum students in this lecture we will discuss about the antibiotic resistance what is the antibiotic resistance what is the antibiotic resistance mechanism and control of the antibiotic resistance antibiotic resistance is the ability of bacteria to resist against the antibiotics it is a very serious issue and has been increased worldwide large numbers of the pathogenic bacteria have become resistant to broad range of the anti mechanism of antibiotic resistance this is very interesting how bacteria become resistant against the antibiotics bacteria they can modify bacterial components use certain enzymes to break down and destroy the antibiotics they can change the look of the target component as we know the antibiotics they can uh, target the different component some antibiotics target the cell wall some antibiotics target the cell membrane in this way some antibiotics they can target the genome dna of the bacteria so in this way the bacteria can change the target component so that it is no longer recognized by the antibiotics the resistant mechanism is encoded in the genes of the bacteria and these genes are found particularly on the plasmids so here we can see the mechanism of antibiotic resistance the bacteria have a certain components and through which they become the resistance against the antibiotic for example a flux pumps these are the certain protein produced by the bacteria to help the drain out the antibiotic in this way also there are some inactivating enzymes some alternative enzymes and also the bacteria have a ability to alter the target components and also the bacteria have a ability to decrease the uptake of the antibiotics plasmids what are the plasmids as earlier we discussed that the plasmids are the responsible for the antibiotic resistance so how can we define the plasmids these are the circular pieces of the dna and can be transferred from one bacterium to another through conjugation and through the other recombinant methods in this way these are also called as the extra chromosomal dna molecules and these plasmids have also origin of replication and they can replicate autonomously within the bacteria types of plasmids plasmids have been classified into various types for example f plasmid r plasmids virulence plasmids metabolic plasmids heavy metal ion resistant plasmids and colicin or bactericin plasmids among these all plasmids the r plasmids that are called as the resistant plasmids they have the certain genes that code for the enzymes and capable of destroying or modifying antibiotics resistant to the antibiotics such as penicillin kinamycin ampicillin streptomycin tetracycline and sulfonamides the most common antibiotic resistant bacteria among these the methicillin resistant staphylococcus mainly called as mrsa bacteria vancomycin resistant enterococcus multi drug resistant pseudomonas aeruginosa multi drug resistant mycobacterium tuberculosis and third generation cephalosporin resistant e coli and klebsiella causes of antibiotic resistance the antibiotic resistance is a natural process it is due to the genetic changes in the bacteria and the major cause of the antibiotic resistance is a misuse of the antibiotics which accelerate the antibiotic resistant ratio and also responsible for the transmission of the antibiotic resistant bacteria in population so the taking antibiotics for viral infection is an example of a major misuse of the antibiotics overuse of the antibiotics irregular intake of the antibiotics unnecessary use of antibiotics in livestock fish farming and plants poor hygiene and sanitization practices and the lack of rapid and standard laboratories these all are the main causes of the antibiotic resistance and they also accelerate the antibiotic resistance as well as the transmission of the multi drug resistance among the population control of antibiotics resistance the antibiotic resistance can be controlled by spreading the awareness about the antibiotic resistance prescribers should use the antibiotics based on the recommendation of guidelines avoid use of antibiotics in viral infections avoid use of 
inappropriate antibiotics research on antibiotic resistance the future research on antibiotic resistance should be on development for new broad spectrum antibiotics and also search for alternative strategies to treat the infections caused by multi drug resistant bacteria for this our previous lecture we discussed in detail about the quorum sensing system as the most of the pathogenic bacteria they use the quorum sensing system to cause the pathogenesis in this way the quorum sensing research is one of the alternative strategy through which we can control the multi drug resistance bacteria